Hi, my name is Brandon Billings. I am co-artistic director of Hidden Assembly, a people's theater company. My pronouns are he, him, his. And I guess just a little bit about myself. I am from Alamosa, Colorado. I was born and raised. I am also a recent graduate from Adams State University uh, with a bachelor's degree in theater. Uh, what values speak to me the most about Hidden Assembly? Well, Hidden Assembly's values are empathy and respect, diversity, equity, inclusion, community, collaboration, creativity, expression, honesty, vulnerability, personal and professional commitment. So I think personally for me, all of them are very important in making a theater company. I mean, to me, if, if a theater is not representing all or most of these values, then what, I mean, then what, I just, I guess I just don't understand. I think a point of theater is to allow anybody to feel comfortable, to feel safe. So for me, speaking from, uh, as people say, an ethnic ambiguous background, uh, one of the most important values for me has to be inclusivity. I mean, I remember a time when, when I was, uh, when I was in California doing auditioning in front of agents and stuff, and then, then them telling me, well, well, you're just not right for this right now. And by that they meant I'm, they're, I'm not right for that role because of my color. And you know, that happens, it happens. But of course it's degrading almost. It, make, it makes you feel like you're not enough. So when I came to Adam State Theater and we did the play, A Diary of Anne Frank, and I, I just, I thought that I wasn't gonna be able to be in the show because if, you, if you're familiar with the story of Diary of Anne Frank, there's not uh, been many Hispanic individuals uh, who are part of that story so I was very discouraged from being a part of that and I auditioned not expecting anything and I was given a really great opportunity in playing uh, Peter Von Don regardless of my skin color so that to me opened my eyes that theater theater goes beyond what people expect it to theater makes you feel safe it makes you feel like home Right, regardless of your color, regardless of your creed, your religion, your sexual orientation, it's theater is always going to be a safe and welcome space for you. Well, the group came together from as simple as an email saying, Hey, we're making a project, I want you a part of it, let me know. And it was, we were brought together from uh, David Gerke, who is a professor at Adams State University um, in the theater department. He, so a lot of people in the company are. Adam State Theater grads. So we all know David, and uh, we all know how passionate David is into bringing a project to life. So when we were asked to do this, I think a lot of us were like, yeah. And a part of that comes from the desperation just to create theater. Because I mean, we're, we're living in a time of a pandemic. Everything is shut down. The, the theater community is in disarray. It's uncertain what's gonna happen with a lot of theater companies because there's just not a lot of work to be done. Theater is very personal and intimate and obviously right now we can't do a lot of that. I mean, we can evolve and transition to a different form of intimacy, right? In theater and, and all that, but it's, it's, it's very difficult. So a lot of theaters are just not having a lot of work. So, to answer the next question of why I chose to collaboratively create Hidden Assembly is out of desperation. I was at a point in 2020 where I just graduated college, right? Before I graduated, I, I worked on a project uh, for a year, year and a half of making my own play, an adaptation to, to direct for my senior thesis. And then as soon as that show closed, the whole world just shut down like that. And then I graduated and that, that was it. That, that was it. So everything I learned in college, it just had to be put on hold in, to, to apply to real world. And that to me just kind of sent me in like this mental and emotional spiral. And I, I have to admit, I was a little depressed for not doing work and uh, having to stay in Alamosa for a little bit longer. Uh, I was really looking forward to getting out, but of course I wanted to be safe. So when we were sent this email to help create this theater company, I was all aboard. I wanted to reignite that spark and passion that I found for theater. And Hidden Assembly did that for me. I think, I think personally the main purpose of Hidden Assembly 
is to just simply make works of theater and to bring them to you in the safety and comfort of your home. But there's 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 a little bit more to that, and it's just a group of uh, graduates and some students, current students, working to collaboratively to stay relevant, to keep theater alive, to be part of the theater community that is desperately working so hard to keep theater alive. Well, I mean, what do I want to take from this experience? I mean, there's a lot of things that I would like to take away from this experience. I mean, one of them is obviously starting a business, right? It being a, a co-artistic director of a, comp of a theater company, uh, working to create my own works of art. I mean, working a nine to five job to pay the bills and then coming home and working on a video project or a device piece right it, it's just it's keeping my imagination it's keeping my passion alive it's 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 bringing theater to you it's working collaboratively it's it's just working and doing what i want to do i mean you asked me years ago do you do want to do theater i probably would have said no but now you know going to school and just the community that i was with all the diverse people that I met in college just really opened my eyes to what theater can bring to me and makes me look forward to what theater will bring to me down the road. So I think the experience I wanna take is just doing what I wanna do in a time where there isn't much for a theater major to do. What I would like to show my friends and family is that I worked, I helped create something to keep my passion alive instead of just completely disregarding it and saving it for later on down the road. I'm working on it right now. I'm working on being who I wanna be in the future. That's what I wanna show my friends and family. Now, what do I wanna show the community and the world? Is that theater is here to stay. Theater is here for as long as theater will be here. I mean, theater is the oldest form of entertainment. And the beautiful thing about theater is that theater isn't restricted to a stage. It isn't restricted to audiences flooding a theater, giving your ticket to an usher, having an usher escort you to your seats, that's not really what theater is all about. It's a big part of theater, but it's not what it's about. Theater can be done anywhere, at any time, with anybody. Like I said earlier, no matter who you are, no matter what your background is, no matter what your sexual orientation is, your color, your creed, your religion, theater is always open to those who are willing to try, to make mistakes, to be vulnerable, right to be able to cry on camera or to cry on stage or that's that's just showing the world who you are and creating some form of sympathy and understanding i mean people go to theater to get out of themselves to get out of their life people do that with movie theaters as well so if we can keep theater alive if we can have if we just show that to one person if we only get one view for one video then we succeeded in our mission bring theater to you.